We're gonna stalk this fox. We're gonna get him. All right. Yeah. There we go. Right. Oh crap. Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining me again in Sengoku Dynasty, where uh, the last video did so well, well, well enough anyway, that I figured we could, should continue the series. And uh, I misspoke last time. I had said that it's the same developer as Medieval Dynasty, but it is actually not. It's the same publisher, but this one is developed by Super Kami, and uh, Medieval Dynasty is developed by Render Cube. So thanks to Nick High 9 gx sorry if I'm butchering your name, but that's how it's spelled out on YouTube. So he's the one who corrected me. So just to clarify for everyone. So yeah, this time, I guess we're just going to continue and try and build up the village here. Uh, what are we doing? Legend. No, we want to go to quests, probably. What kind of quests do we have? Territorial defense. Uh, unhinged. What? I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Ken Kenjio? I'll, I uh, well, all right, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Jizamurai, yeah, that's that's a terrible name. Uh, Kenjio spends most of his time in the forest camp sharpening spears, new recruits, and his and his opinions. Some love him, some hate him, and he's definitely an influential person. What will you make of him? What will we make of you? So yeah, we got to go talk to him. Got to go talk to the impure man. Matsumaru is one of the Ita impure ones. Yeah, so they're like the grave diggers. They're kind of like holy men, sort of. Got to talk to him. Tranquil Tribute. Uh, Chiomi is a Miko, a priestess in charge of Shinto shrines. Can be found around Sosogi. You will only respect those who respect the spirits. Okay, so yeah, we gotta be respectful of the spirits. And establish first base. So we've got most of that done. We gotta ask Eiko to join the village. Reach Dynasty level Legend 5 by helping locals. Okay. We gotta do some side quests. I don't think we have any yet. No, I don't believe so. So let's go ask Aiko. That seems to be the thing we should start with. So she's back over here, where we crashed our boat, I guess. I imagine in a storm. I don't really go into all that, but that's what it looks like to me. Oh, and we need to eat something. But she can cook, or at least she said she would cook. So maybe she's got some food for us. That would be good. And I seem to recall having more stamina. Maybe it's because we're we're all hungry. That would make sense. Maybe they'll update that, uh, the GUI, because that looks very cartoony, and it's not a very cartoony sort of game. So, do you have food for us? Um, okay, good news, village is reborn. Come join me. Uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Okay, uh, you're unbelievable. That makes me so happy. Just tell me where my house is, and I'll get to work. Okay. So I guess she can have the house we built, and we'll build a new one. Um, dynasty? Is that where we do it? Yeah, managing your dynasty is the best way to achieve prosperity. It allows you to automate some of the production to make your own life easier. But to become a great leader, you need people to lead. Look for refugees, make them join your dynasty by assigning them a bed in one of your houses. Then you will be able to assign them a job like item production or special project construction to produce items a villager needs to needs access to dynasty storage buildings, raw materials, and optionally a tool. Okay, and yeah, management. So similar to Medieval Dynasty, we've got a management tab where we can tell everybody what to do. Uh, that's a lot of stuff to read. Yeah, needs. Okay. So they need food and whatnot, I'm sure. So we have one adult, one village, one population, and one building. Legend 2, we need to get to 5 for our current quest. So, uh, village, population. Him assign home. Yeah, you can go there. Um, that one. Okay, she's all set. Meals. In your first villager, you have also taken upon yourself a responsibility to take care of their basic needs. Each season, your people will consume various goods stored in the dynasty storage. The consumed amount will expand the more villagers you recruit. For now, your villager will only require meals. You have control over how much your villagers consume. Each need can be set to a low or high consumption. Low consumption is satisfied, maintains villagers' current level of happiness. High consumption will increase happiness by one level and slightly boost the production efficiency per need satisfied. Each need that was satisfied will cause a production efficiency penalty and happiness drop by two levels. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to keep them happy. We have no meals. We have some fish, though. I do believe. Picked it up last time. Is there... She said she was going to cook. 
I know she did. Well, we'll cook some fish here then. Can we cook some fish? Um, cooked fish, yes. Should be able to a couple fish. We need one too. So, cook one for us and one for her. We shall eat one. Where'd that go? Right here. Oh, we have three cooked fish. Okay, so eat it. Ooh, that doesn't do much of anything. Well then, what about the meat? Can we do cooked meat? We can do cooked meat. Does that do a little more? Um, eat that. That did a little more, but not much. So I think we need to spend some time uh, collecting food. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to go back to the village and see about building another sleeping mat for ourselves. Imagine we can just throw it in the same place. And then I believe we should probably try and get some food together so that our first villager doesn't leave <laughs> on our second day. That would be pretty terrible. Yeah, reach Dynasty level 5. We're working on it, okay? Maybe we can just buy some. Do we have any money? I doubt we have any money. No, zero. Yeah, that makes sense. We're a refugee. So, yeah, how do we build? No, it's not here. I have to pull out the hammer probably, huh? Oh crap, I didn't need to build a hammer. Well, I'm sure we'll use it. Two is where I put the hammer. So then, uh, basic, village structures, furniture. We build house furniture, beds, sleeping mat. Um, yeah, just put that, like, there. Not place structure here. Oh, is there only one sleeping mat per building? Alright then, I guess we gotta build a new house. Well then. Yeah, buildings, housing, and yeah, a small house. We'll just be your neighbor. There... yeah, there we go. Do we have all the stuff we need? Probably not a lot. Oh, you can move the building after you place it down? That's cool. That's something that Medieval Dynasty needs. No, it's lined up pretty good. I like it. So, yeah. And what do we need? Why isn't it telling me what it... oh, logs. Any log, seven. Okay. You go get some logs, and I'll get back to you. Alright, I think I got enough logs now. Should have eight. Oh yeah, we still have the stumps. I didn't take the stumps out. Kind of want these trees to regrow, so I don't have to go too far for logs, because I think I'm going to need a lot. I don't even remember what we used to oh, get that house put up last time. And planks. We have, oh, almost enough planks. But we can make some planks from that other log. Drop the log. Where'd you go? Stick. Uh, bark. There's the log. Drop. Old T. Yeah, I gotta remember all the different controls. And then where's our thingamabobber? This one. Yeah. Bark off, and then make it into planks. Is that enough planks? Yeah. Oh. And then you need planks and sticks. I have a lot of sticks. Not a lot of planks, so I'm going to have to go cut some more trees. Alright, hopefully that's enough planks. It's just one tree's worth. So, two planks. The two per. Yeah, it looks like it's two per panel. So I think we're going to need another tree. That's three panels per side. Yep. So at least one more tree. Get another tree. I'll be right back. This. Crow's nest. Yeah, we'll collect some eggs. Crow's eggs? They probably just taste like chicken eggs. Harvest the nest. Now let's leave the nest so we can go get more eggs later. I think that should be enough. One more tree. Hopefully that's enough planks. Not look how many we got. But imagining it should be enough. Let's, let's just see. What? You're better than that? Better than what? Oh, did I try and hit her with the hammer? 
I mean, I didn't even see her. She walking through my house. Well, that's what you get for walking through my house I'm building. It's a construction site. Oh, are you serious? We need one freaking plank. Man. We don't have a log. We don't have a log. Alright. Chopping another tree down for one freaking plank. Ridiculous. Alright. Well, we definitely should have enough planks now. <laughs> Whole tree just... Well, let's grab these mushrooms. I've been grabbing the mushrooms as I've been working because... Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are edible. And we need some food. I don't know where we put food. We have to build, like, storage? Oh, that's a lot of mushrooms. Alright, I'm not gonna get all the mushrooms right now. We gotta go get real food. She needs some food somewhere. And we got a house to build. Who are... Oh, now we need logs. Dang it. Alright, but the roof is one whole thing. So we just need two logs. We got enough sticks and everything. Alright, one more tree. Oh, I tried to make it go the other way. Sorry, buddy. Oh, good. It didn't break his house. Yeah, logs. And hopefully I can get all the logs. Oh no, one's up on his house. I don't think we can get that one. Mm, can I make it up over here? Yeah. We probably want to come talk to him. Is he? No, I can't think he's the farmer. We need to talk to the fisherman. Eh, can't get up there. Oh yeah, I can, maybe. Yeah, grab the log. Nice. All right. Got it. <laughs> Let's get this house done. And then we've got somewhere to sleep, too. Yeah, roof. Oh, sticks. Need one freaking stick. There's, a, there's always sticks around, except when I need one. There we go. Yeah, you really need to collect stuff as you're walking around in this game. I don't think there's a weight limit. At least, not that I've seen. Would you? Um, oh, does it matter? No, yeah, it does matter. What's your point in that? There we go. Alright. And then... Yeah, I want to do this at least. We need straw 10. Can we make some straw? Um... Yeah, what would help to make... Uh, how many can we make? Um... But we can't make... Oh, we gotta go collect stuff. And then this one needs... Firewood we got. We got planks. We need more stones. Okay, so stones and grass. I'm gonna go collect those and I'll get back to you. Alright, I think I got enough everything. Hopefully. So you... Oh, we gotta make it though. Um, yes, craft more. We need... Um, nine. How can we... Oh, we have to do this. There we go. E yeah. There. And we have ten. Just hammer that grass into place. I'm sure that's how you make grass mats, is with a hammer. Obviously. And we have just enough firewood and a ton of stones. And just one more plank that we need for this. Then we'll have two houses. Alright. Can we cook anything? I think we're all out of uncooked meat. So where do we store stuff? We need to do some storage building. But first we need to go get some more food. Can we just eat mushrooms? Um, yeah, these. Okay, yeah, we can just eat it. It probably does nothing, though. Oh, that wasn't the right thing. Just hit F. I don't know what it did. Yeah, that's like I thought. Well, we got a bunch of them, so let's just fill up on mushrooms. Yeah. Just to get us... So we can actually go do some stuff. So, um, yeah, do we have... Oh, did our hammer break? No. I put my hammer away somehow. I don't know. So, demolish, uh, village structures guessing buildings village structures is probably it right shed storage structure allows you to build personal containers or furniture that allows quick access to various dynasty storage Does not count towards workplace requirements so that's probably what we need thinking are these ones locked right oh no not locked all right so shed probably what we need we'll just put that I don't know, right here? Seems like a good spot. 
Yeah. There. Now, what do you need? You need logs, planks, bamboo, and straw. Okay, we gotta find bamboo. Where is the bamboo? I've not seen bamboo. But yeah, we'll collect grass. I'll look for the bamboo and get back to you when we figure all that out. This this looks like wheat. At least, yeah, looks like Skyrim sort of wheat. I guess that is how they kind of did it back in the day. They would just bundle it into a pyramid sort of shape like that. Where is the bamboo? Oh, there's some cherry trees. Well, cherry blossom trees, I guess. They're not cherry trees. They don't. I don't know why they call them cherry blossoms. I guess they must have some sort of fruit on them at some point, or they wouldn't call them cherry blossom trees. Where's the bamboo? All bridge construction site discovered. Okay. Gotta build a small bridge at some point. What are you? You're not bamboo. Ooh, another nest. Um, bamboo likes water. This looks kind of like bamboo, maybe. This also ban oh, this is tall grass. Does that do anything different? Got grass. I don't see any tall grass. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, it's not bamboo. Oh, this looks like bamboo. Yeah, bamboo. Chop down to get bamboo. So, oh, we already had our axe out. So, chop. One. How much, I don't remember how much we needed, but I'm guessing we need a lot. So, I'll be chopping at this for a little while. Well, it's getting towards nighttime. I think I've got enough bamboo. I broke my axe and didn't have enough sticks to make a new one. So... Oh, straw. We can make straw. Right. Yeah. Need ten. So, yeah. That'll be good. Yeah, now we have everything we need. Let's get this going. We need more planks. I think I got logs, though. Log and drop is whole T. How many planks do we get from that? That's the question. Whoops. Back to the hammer. Good enough. Do we not get planks? What? Just sworn. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah. Gotta do this thing. There we go. Three. So it's the perfect amount. Nice. There we go. Oh, and we gotta build this. What does this take? Draw, of course. 10 straw again. Everything takes 10 straw. Oh, whoops. It canceled. Dang it. Yeah, eventually I'll get all the controls down. There we go. There. That's enough. And sticks we have. Oh, we have eight sticks. Oh, did we get sticks from... Do I not have enough sticks to make a new axe then? Oh, we need more six sticks. All right. Uh, there's plenty of sticks around this area. Oh, that's a fence, though. Do we have a torch? I don't think we have a torch, or if we do, I don't know how to pull it out. Oh, yeah, that's right. We just have to equip it. It doesn't have a specific slot. It was in Medieval Dynasty, you just hit F. But did we equip a torch? Yes, it's number four. Whoops. Four, and now we can see. How many sticks do we need? I don't remember. Six, I think. Five six, but we need to build us an axe too. I'm gonna grab a few extra. Can we just... aren't there some plants that you can just harvest sticks from? There are a bunch of sticks around here earlier. Of course now when I need them they're nowhere to be found. Yeah, these... yeah, these ones you can harvest sticks from. Yep, just one stick though. I mean that kind of makes sense. Basically a one stick tree some mushrooms. We can put those in there too, so she's got those to eat. More sticks. I think she'll need sticks, but we need the sticks. What are these? These look like onions almost. Can't harvest them though. Alright. Just a few sticks. We should be all done. I don't know why we can't carry the torch too. Can't see anything. I don't like that. There we go. Alright, and then open. 
and we'll put fish in there. She's got some food. Not that two fish is going to be much. So mushrooms, we'll just drop the whole stack in there. We're pretty, oh, and eggs. Because I imagine you can cook eggs, right? Or do, should we cook them first? Let's try cooking the eggs. All right, and then go to our house. And do we have to light it? No, it auto lights. Can we cook the eggs? Cooked egg, yeah. Let's cook up all those eggs we got. Yeah. There. All the eggs. So let's eat one because we are down a little bit. I just want to see how much they do. So, yeah. Yeah, not much. Two of those. Almost full. We'll go ahead and leave the rest in here so she can grab them. We'll go get some more food in the morning. That's food. Yeah, we'll keep all this. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no weight limit. I mean, it's kind of like, uh, what, No Man's Sky, I believe? It's just off the number of squares you have. So, yeah, obviously, certain things don't stack, and I'm sure there's a, a limit to how much you can stack in each square. So, yeah. But it's getting pretty dark, so I feel like we should pro- Well, let's talk to you. See if you've got anything for us. Why are you running away from me? I'm just trying to talk to you. Uh, yeah, how do you like your new home? I was lying there on the shore. I thought I was, it was the end, not the beginning. But thank you. Let's rebuild this place together. Alright, sounds good. You got a house, I got a house, and got a whole village to rebuild. Oh, I need a new axe before I totally forget. And let's go to sleep. Put that away. We don't need to sleep with an axe, that's weird. Yeah, sleep. So this day, we need food. Oh, it's still the middle of the night. The sworn is, oh, seasons. The flow of seasons is an important part of life in Nada Valley. Villager production needs and happiness and special project construction all rely on it. As a leader, you'll have some influence when it, that happens. Each season has a minimum number of days. Two by default need to pass. They already did for this season, so you can change it to the next one by interacting with your bell tower. You don't do it in the next few days the season will change automatically at the end of the last day four by default okay yeah well we don't want to okay so the sun is rising it's just really early morning so wineberry bush what do you have for us uh wine berries okay i'm guessing those are berries that you can use to make wine <laughs> seems pretty self-explanatory right I'm sure you could probably also eat them i thought wine was made from grapes by default but i guess there's like cherry wine there's other types of wine but yeah this guy looks like he's got some sort of mission for us we gotta do missions to build our dynasty reputation or whatever it is so matsumara oh yeah we need to talk to you for everything else so yeah i said you might need some help right with old hikobe yes you're too late he's drawing his last breath in taro's cabin he's beyond help so shouldn't you be inside helping him? What's uh, his story? I've gotta go. Yeah, what's the story? He refused to leave Sasogi uh, when his house burned down. Taro offered to take him in and Hikobe's family moved to Aratani. Okay. They were running out of food there, but they still kept bringing him rice. Old Hawk Hikobe never wanted to be a burden, so he went to the forest and gathered some mushrooms. Turns out it was the wrong sort of mushrooms. Look where it got him. Couldn't you be inside helping him? What was he thinking? Trying unknown mushrooms? There's really nothing we can do. Yeah, there's gotta be something, right? No, but Mata would probably say otherwise. She's the local herbalist. Okay, I don't really trust her. Likes to play with herbs and mushrooms a little bit too much. You never know what will happen if you drink her concoctions, but some of them can be helpful. I'll give her that. Well, I mean, if he's gonna die anyway, you may as well, right? Talk to her, it never hurts to try. Yeah, especially if the dude's dying. I mean... <laughs> Doing something that might help somebody who's dying, <laughs> you know, like, oh, you can, you can try this or you can just die. Well, you know what? I'm going to try something. <laughs> How about that? So where is she? Oh, is, is she this one? I mean, somebody popped up. That's Aiko over there. She's got something new to say to us, obviously. But you are Sayori. No, you're not who we need to talk to. Um, does it pop up on our map where people are at? 
and quests. And pure man, was that? Yeah, talk to Mata. Yeah, track quest. Yeah, okay. So now, okay, so let's run over and do that real quick and then we'll find us some food. Where, oh, it doesn't pop up here. Oh, I see. We just have to learn from the map. I think, oh, there, yeah, it does, okay. Just took it a second, or maybe I just wasn't looking right. Yeah, scavenger. Mata, you live here. A man is dying, I want to help him. Um, yeah, that one. What exactly happened to him? He ate some mushrooms. Oh, you mean old Hikabe, right? There are medicines that might help him, but it could be difficult. Can't make them? Of course I can, but you have to decide which one to choose. How can I choose between medicines? I'm not a healer. One gives a tiny chance of survival, but Hikabe will definitely suffer a lot. There's no guarantee it will be successful. The other will only take away his pain. He will suffer less. He will die. Um, he will surely welcome the chance to fight for his life despite the pain. I want to honor his wishes and take away his pain. Uh, no. Yeah. Pain is fine if you live. Understood. Bring me some gobo roots. There are some in this very field and around many deciduous trees. Okay, gobo roots. Where are the gobo roots? In this very field, she said. At this field? Wineberry bush. Uh, they're around trees? That's a burn tree. Does that not count? Small stone. Gobo roots. Don't see any gobo roots. The rocks. Deciduous trees. Aren't these all deciduous trees? Well, I'm gonna collect sticks while I'm out here because we need sticks for like everything it seems like. Um, red pine bush. Does that? Yeah, that's just sticks. That's just sticks too. So she said this very field. She's in this field. Gobo. Or sticks. Am, am I gonna have to go look this up? May very well be. I'm gonna have to go look this up. Because I'm not seeing anything that says gobo. Burn tree. This very field. Pineberry bush. No oh, gobos. Ah, oh, gobo plant. Here we go. Alright, how many do we need? We need just two? Um, well, that's three. So we'll just pick all the gobo. Assume it'll grow back? I'm not sure, though. Oh, we only needed three. Okay, so we got it. Here you go, lady. Hey, would you stop walking away from me? I'll try and talk to you. And yeah, got the roots. See, I need a moment. Good for you. And go. Almost done. Here, give this antidote to the sick man. This uh, could keep death at bay, but he will definitely suffer. Alright. Well, they've suffered a lot. They should be used to it by now. Where's he at? He was over here, right? Wasn't he? Um, yeah, past the house. Or this away. Pico Bay. Wasn't he over here? Yeah, there he is. There's lots of wineberry bushes. We really need to find a better source of food that I don't have to go and get myself all the dang time. In here? For you? No, this guy. Here you go. Talk. Uh, drink this. What? What's this? Am I gone? Calm down, you'll live. What? How? How could you? Uh, we'll all die. Oh no, it hurts again. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. Uh, talk to... yeah, this guy. Okay, well... <laughs> it, it looks more alive, right? What's your prof... I mean... Yeah, what is your profession? Serve the sanctity of the valley and keep spiritual pollution at bay. Okay, so yeah, that's right. You're the impure dude. Burials, animal carcasses, yeah, that sort of thing. He looks more alive, right? Well, isn't that a surprise? I didn't know the old man had it in him. What's next for him? He'll probably live, but don't expect him to be grateful. I'll cart him to his family in Aratani when he gets better. Uh, you took the risk and saved his life. People here won't forget that. Yeah. Save somebody's life. Go us. Alright, and then there was a fisherman down over here. I wanted to talk to him. He's got to be able to help us learn how to catch fish, right? Um, where was it? Yeah, over here. This guy. Oh, more eggs. Yes. 
all the eggs. So the eggs seem to give you about the same amount as mushrooms. So pick the mushrooms too when you see them. And right now I don't see any. All right, fisherman dude. Can you tell us how to fish? Oh, we need to talk to you anyway, didn't we? What do you want? Refugee, so tired. Looking for something to do, sure. Talk to Mata. She always needs more herbs. Okay. So you will not help us get fish. Can we build a fishing pole or anything? Or did we... Wooden Yari. Spear useful for both melee and ranged combat. Okay. But how do we get fish? A oh, knife. Yeah, none of that seems very useful. So then... Can't go fishing? Or do we need to learn how to build a fish trap? Do they not do fishing? You have to use a trap. I know some games, they don't want to program fishing. So they just do fish traps because it's easier to program. Maybe this is like that. Oh, so the gobo plants are kind of all over. All right, well, we do need to eat some more of these. Yellow chrysanthemum. Don't think you can eat those. I could be wrong. Them. I know you can eat the mushrooms and fish and meat. So that's really what we want to do. We'll probably... Yeah, we'll get some more wine berries. Seems like a better idea. Do the wine berries give you any food? Yeah, if we eat that... Yeah, not very much again. Eggs we got. And... Oh, that's wine berry. That's lingon berries. Wine berries, yeah. Not very much. Alright then. How do we get food? I guess we should build a spear. We can go hunt something, maybe. One spear? Probably two at least. What do we need? Logs and stones. Alright, so grab some more rocks. I don't know why they call them stones. I mean, I guess a stone is technically any size, but when I think of stone, I think of something larger than this. Craft two, that's all we can do. And if we find something, we can stab it. There. And who else do we need to talk to? J doesn't work, L works. Quest. Gotta talk to just a Murai and Miko. Oh no, Chiomi. She is a Miko. And yeah, Reach Dynasty Legend 5. So I suppose we should talk to her. This, yeah, that fisherman dude told us to talk to her anyway. Somebody's got to be able to tell us how to get some friggin' food, right? Maybe you. Or, yeah, Aiko. Not Aiko. Is you. Okay, so you, you can get into here. Huh. Yeah, let's talk to you. Uh, how you doing? Not bad, not bad at all. I didn't expect I would say it again, but there you go. Okay, so nothing from you. And you, do you have anything? Want to help people around here like you advised? Um, yeah. Want to help people around here? Yeah. Has Matsumaru mentioned anything? Yeah, the business with old Hikobe. Matsumaru is quite a gossip. He told everyone what you did. Still don't know if I did the right thing. Old man is suffering, but alive. His family will be grateful. They will speak to you, speak for you, as will Matsumaru. Cool. That was a difficult decision, yet you had the courage to make it. This is the mark of a leader. All right. Well, I mean, that's what I would choose if it was me. I'll take some pain if I can live. And you. Hey. You're not the one we need to talk to. Oh, you don't have anything for us yet. So, yeah. Where is the other lady? Um, this one, no, we are tracking it already. Okay, so you are, you're way over there. Oh, and there's rabbits there, foxes. Okay, so we got to go down the road over here. Find her, I do believe. So I'll see you when we get to her. Is this her? Somebody, yeah. She looks like a, a priestess. <laughs> I've seen enough anime to know what a priestess, a Shinto priestess anyway looks like. Um, yeah, what do you do? We know what she does. Leave you to your duties. Uh, I've heard you need assistance. Yeah. Shrine is empty. Nobody visits it anymore. 
With the famine, people feel the goddess Inari has left them. That's not good. Inari sends foxes to protect the crops, but what can foxes do when humans burn the fields? I can make an offering to the goddess, perhaps others will follow. Find an egg and cook it over a campfire. The times are tough, so this will do for now. Uh, where can I find one? I've already got some. I think I saw a crow's nest. Yeah, we got eggs already. So, can we cook it here? No, can't cook it there. Should have brought some already cooked ones, dang it. Now, cook crow's egg on the campfire. Can we just make a campfire right here? Or maybe over here, so we don't have to walk so far? It wouldn't be in there. So, gotta bust out the hammer for this. Basic structures, campfire, regular one. Eh, I don't want to have to pick all the stuff up, so we'll just run. That's not that far to our house and the campfire to cook some eggs. Probably cook those eggs anyway and eat them. Yeah, the food definitely. Oh, and I need to clear out all this crap. Just want to get some food going before I start working a whole bunch. Because, yeah, seems like we could use some food. Craft all of you up. We have five on us. That's enough to be getting on with, at least. We'll make the offering of a cooked egg. That's not much of an offering to a goddess. But I guess if you're poor people, then they'll accept whatever you got, right? <laughs> Seems like how it should work. Then we need to find a real thing to eat, like a boar. I mean, rabbits, uh, rabbits are not much of a meal. Like, you can live off rabbits, but you need a lot of them. Yeah, so do we give the egg to you, or do we put it here? No, that's just stuff, so... Yeah. Um, nothing? You brought the egg. You may proceed with the offering uh, in the shrine. Where do I look for it? Follow the road away from the village. Once you're at the broken bridge, turn left. You'll see the Tori gates in the distance. They will lead you to the shrine. Okay. I don't know what Tori gates are. So I assume we just follow the road? Does it show on the map where we need to go? Oh, dang. We need to go a ways. Alright, um, well, I'm gonna eat, um, some of them. Yeah, are a little low on food. Two eggs, some wine berries, lingon berries. I don't know. Definitely need to find some real food. That is not real food. I'm gonna collect some stones on the way. Guess we should... Get some yellow chrysanthemums. Not sure what they're for, but I probably need them. I mean, they put them here, so they're going to be for something. Alright, so I'll see you at the shrine. Oh yeah, she said left at the broken bridge. Okay. I'll see you guys at the shrine. Okay, so are these the things they were talking about? Like these gates? I think that's it. Yeah. I believe it's this way like it to me anyway from the map. Am I correct? No, I'm not correct. It's the other way. Of course. Do... Yeah, this is the shrine entrance. I guess all the shrines I've seen in anime have those things at the front. They're usually a little bit fancier, but this is more medieval times. This is the shrine. That's where we put it? Or is there... Oh, it's marked. Duh. Tommy Shrines and Blessings. Spirituality is a big part of life in the in Nada Valley. Follow Tori Gates to find Shinto Shrines of various Kamis. They can provide a temporary boost to you called a Blessing. Blessings require an offering, an item related to the specific Kami. Place your offering at the Shrine, Altar, and in exchange you will gain some way of the Monk experience points, and for 5 minutes you can enjoy an increased sprint speed, for example. The more Shrines of the same Kami you discover, the more effective the Blessing will become. Alright. That's kind of cool. A little bit different. Go so interact. Oh. I didn't know there was going to be a cutscene. Inari, eh? So she's the fox goddess? Like, protects the fields. 
I mean, foxes do eat mice, and they do not eat wheat and stuff, so I guess they would protect it. So then, interact again. There we go. You already received this blessing. Yeah, but we had to put the egg in. We didn't put the egg in before. Talk to Chiyomi. Alrighty. So I'll see you guys when we're back at Chiyomi. Alright, there she is. So we put the egg in. So everything's good, right? Um, yeah, offering has been made. Nari is so pleased, or is pleased. You have her, your blessing uh, and my respect. Just a trifle, just a cooked egg, but you did something the locals have forgotten about. It is not them, but an outsider who got blessed by her, and I follow her judgment. Okay. Um, so new building, mining post. You're getting them into mining already? And bamboo barrier. Okay. Talk to Kenjio. Um, oh, he is a Jizamurai. That can't be the way you pronounce it. <laughs> Izamurai, maybe? And find a way to help him. So, yeah, that's what we need to do next. But I need to go find some food. We are starving. Or near to. So, rabbits? Alright, so where are these rabbits at? Found a few. There's one right here. That's like straight where we're looking down in the forest, I'm guessing. Got some spears on. I don't know if spearing a rabbit is going to be very easy to do, but we managed it in Medieval Dynasty. So I think we should be able to manage it here too, if we can find one anyway. And we build a rabbit trap. That's There's one. Ha! Ah. Yeah. Nope. They're faster in this game. And, yeah, pick that up. Go. Gone. Alright. So, yeah, they're a little wilier. What about fish? Fish are a little less quick, usually. The fish don't really give you a whole lot of food. I haven't seen any fish yet. I mean, I imagine there are fish in the game. Obviously, I've picked up some fish. Hares. So, yeah, more hares. They are uh, over here. And there's some over here, too. So, um, yeah, what about building a rabbit trap? Can we build such a thing? Mm, a hair, hair box trap. Um, grass and planks. So we need some planks. We've got some logs, I do believe. Wait, wait. Oh, I used up all my logs, of course. Of course I used up all my logs. So chopping trees yet again. Timber. I'm gonna deforest this whole friggin' place. Rabbits probably aren't gonna be around if we <laughs> chop all the trees down. But we need trees to catch rabbits. Okay. Enough planks. And then hopefully they'll show up on the map like they do in Medieval Dynasty. So, are we in the hair location? We're pretty much in the hair location. We'll throw it right about here, I think. So that's here. Can we, oh, we can't make it yet. Of course we can't. And those are just containers. That defensive structures. So how do we... Do we have to kill one first? Probably have to kill one first, don't we? Alright, well, I think we chased the one that was here out. What? Oh, the Inari blessing left us? Okay. I'm like, what is that noise? That didn't sound good. Just the blessing going away. Alright, yeah, there's, there's more hairs down this way. Just gotta keep an eye out. Hopefully find one. Because I didn't see any fish. And imagine we could spearfish, but rabbits seem like they might give more food than fish. And we haven't tried rabbit yet. We did do the meat. The meat seemed to feed us a little better. Maybe we just need to find somebody who's actually good at hunting, so I don't have to do it myself. Cause, aha, there's a fox. Ooh, he runs. 
Can we sneak? We can sneak. Okay. Went this way. Is that him? Yeah, I think that's him down there by the water. Almost by the water. Yep, that's him. Alright. And... Oh, oh hey! Go. Oh, did not lead him enough. Misjudged how fast he is. Alright. We're gonna stalk this fox. We're gonna get him. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Right. Oh, crap. Well, he's moving slower, so he should be easier to get now. Yeah, he's kind of glitchy in his movement. Alright, if you're going... There we go. Got him. Alright. Well, fox is better than a rabbit, right? Pick up our spears. And requires a knife. Do we not have a knife? I thought I made a knife. I did not make a knife. So, oh, did, yeah, I did. Right here. There we go. So then, six. And skin it. Ooh, five meat. Yeah, that's good. And just leave the body there, I guess. Alrighty. Got some meat. So. Yeah, what about a rabbit? We can find a rabbit. Well, let's get some mushrooms. They're here. So, may as well get the food we have available. Instead of hoping for the food that we don't know if it's available or not. So, yeah, rabbits are this way. Kind of hard to see in the forest. Mushrooms. Um, I don't see any rabbits. Although rabbits look very similar to rocks. So, I guess we should... Oh, there's a fox. Let's see it. In the distance. Stalk the fox. No way we're going to get to it, is there? Went this way. Ah, is that him? No, I think that's a bush. Oh, there he is. And... Bam! And... Bam! Nope. Get him. Nope. Whoops. And then, nope, this one. Gotta get him. Spear. Oh. He's running away with our spear. Where'd he go? I lost him. Is that him? There he is. Get him. I think I missed. Where'd he go? Where'd my spear go? Do I have... I don't have the sense thing, do I, like Medieval Dynasty? He's gone. He took my spear, and I lost one. Go this way? Are we not supposed to be killing foxes right next to the Fox Lady Shrine, or whatever it is? Yeah, do we not have... I don't think we have... The ability to sense things. Yeah. Dang it, I lost two spears, and the fox. That sucks. Unless I managed to come across him. Nope. I think it's gone for good. Yep. That spear, like in these bushes, wasn't it? Hang on, let me check. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is a whatever sense thing that shows you various things like Medieval Dynasty has where you can hold down. I think it's Alt. It shows you where you threw your spears and stuff. That sucks. Well, luckily they're just logs and stones. So yeah, I suppose we should go and cook up the meat we did manage to get. Eat ourselves. Maybe have enough left to give some to our friend over here. Then probably call it an episode there, because, yeah, it's getting a little bit late. And who are you? Do you have something for us now? Uh, no, not yet. Why do you have a thing above your head? Is that just saying that you're a villager? 
Don't know. So can we cook anything different? Yeah, cook. That takes rice. We don't have rice yet. This takes, um, oh, gobo and any herbs. We don't have any herbs though. This gobo, mm, it's a healthy snack. And then fish and meat. Okay, so nothing too fancy yet. Just do all the meat. And I guess we should cook the gobo too, right? Yeah, as well. Because you definitely seem to get hungrier a lot faster in this game. Like, I guess it's a little more realistic. Medieval Dynasty, you don't get hungry that fast. Two of those, and then maybe two of the gobo. Berries. Yeah. And we can drop the rest in there. Her. Well, the stuff doesn't seem to go bad, so that's good. Got more eggs. Didn't I cook all my eggs? I sworn I cooked all my eggs. But she has not been eating anything yet. I guess it's just when the seasons change. That's good. How do we split the stacks? And take... Yeah, we'll take half. Oh, 15, yeah. But we got something on us to eat if we need to. I put the feathers in here. I don't need to carry feathers around, I don't think. And yeah, the yellow chrysanthemum. I don't think I need to carry that around. Um, yeah, the rest I think we're good. You down here. Oh, we did cook the eggs. Okay, we just got more eggs from somewhere. I don't recall getting more eggs, but apparently I must have. All this stuff down there. The over there. Yeah. That good. Okay, so we're fed. She's got food to eat. And we know how to hunt. Sort of. We're not good at it. Well, I'm not good at it. <laughs> but I know how to do it. You just throw spears at things until they die. Pretty simple. <laughs> but I think that's going to end it for this episode. So I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. I'd appreciate it ever so much. And scrub, scrub, yeah, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk right now, but if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye!